break the show. Posted by Isaiah. Ice, ice, break the show. Posted by Isaiah. Ice, ice, break the show. Posted by Isaiah. Isaiah do interviews. Ask the questions to different dudes. This the show called the Icebreaker. Going up like a skyscraper. With the best in the city. If you're witty, get with me. Icebreaker show be so litty. We with the lady committee. Yeah, it's the Iceman. Who be asking all them questions? It's the Iceman. Break the show, cold like the freezer. He may ask the question about the upcoming season. Ask about the process, he got a lot like his defense. Isaiah is the coolest, and that's why he leading. Ice break the show, just as cold as ice. I'm Isaiah Euros, and this is the Icebreaker. And I'm here with Bobby Bates. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Now it's time to break the ice. Did you play any sports when you were younger? Yeah, I played uh, I played a lot of sports when I was younger. Like what sports? Played basketball, baseball, football. I ran track. Uh, basically anything that, you know, was a ball and I could get my hands on and be outside, that's what I was doing. So you were the all-around athlete. I see. I got gotcha. you. What advice would you give your 12 year old self? Uh, my 12 year old self? Yep. To continue to dream. Uh, that anything in life is possible, uh, regardless of your situation, your surroundings, uh, what you may be going through at this point in time in life. Uh, there are better and brighter days ahead for sure. Uh, a lot of stuff I did though, you know, listen to your elders, be respectful. Uh, but the biggest thing is continue to believe in yourself and your dreams. That's something nobody can take away from you because, you know, at the end of the day, what's for you is going to be for you, regardless of what somebody else does or says. That's a great answer. Well, How'd you get involved in the Allen Iverson Classic? Uh, well, I got involved. I'm one of the co-owners uh, and founders of the Iverson Classic. Was a, it was a vision. I'd been in the uh, basketball space for a lot of years and had done numerous really big things. And uh, it was a brainchild, it was a vision. Uh, a culmination of everything I had done up to that point. But then it was also, it was a missing piece. It was something that, you know, myself, our team felt was missing in the basketball world. You, you, you know, you watch and pay attention from afar, a lot of things that were going on. Uh, and it's something we wanted to be different from anything else in the space. Uh, what's funny is we were told that we were crazy when we started it, that it couldn't work, it wouldn't work. And then ultimately, you know, this many years later, here we are today. Wow. I, what made you choose Memphis? Tennessee is my home. Uh, you know, we've we've held the Iverson Classic and you know, the Virginia area in the seven cities, Hampton, Newport News area, where Allen is from, the inaugural Iverson Classic All-American game uh, was held there in Virginia. Uh, it, it only felt right at the time that we did it right there where Allen was from. Uh, after that, we moved it to Philadelphia. Uh, we held it there a few years. Uh, you know, Allen's an icon in the city of Philadelphia. He often says that there are no fans uh, when it comes to, you know, basketball that are quite like his fans. So it just seemed as a 
uh, you know, natural progression from year one to, hey, let's go to Philly and do this thing as well. And uh, then we were going to, the year COVID happened, we were going to do it in Philly again. And then, you know, COVID happened, kind of stopped the world in its tracks. And so when we came back, we said, we, we just looked at all the dynamics and Memphis made sense. You know, if we can be the lighter fluid or the spark for them to lead and use their powerful voice uh, to help make change, not just on court, but off court as well in the community, uh, that's kind of the vision. And, and that's the hope with doing stuff like that is ultimately uh, our impact is felt much, much, much deeper than just on the court in the game of basketball. Like uh, I live by the motto, the game of life is bigger than the game of basketball. And one of our models inside the Iverson Classic is more than basketball. Like we always want to reach back and touch the community. Uh, it's extremely important. And, you know, touch the places that are like where we came from. And again, the city of Memphis, the state of Tennessee, uh, I wear this thing across my chest proudly. I was born in West Tennessee. Uh, I've got ties all across this state from one corner to the next. I got family all across the state. And I wanted my people to be able to see something unlike anything that had ever been brought here before. And uh, I got some close friends of mine that are influential and in pushing me to bring that stuff here as well. Like uh, a good friend of mine, Javante Holmes, had a long conversation with me about yeah, you know, Bobby B, we, we need this, like, please do it. Uh, and, and whenever you look at it, like, at the end of the day, I would rather be remembered uh, where I'm from than, and loved by the people where I'm from than somewhere else. So uh, it just, you know, Memphis was, Memphis is perfect. Powerful. What can we expect to see at this one? What can we expect to see? Mm. History being made. Can't wait. Well, two seconds left in the game. Fourth quarter. Your starting player just found out. Who in the NBA right now would you put in the game to win the game winning shot? Anybody? Yeah, anybody in the NBA right now. Right now, today, uh, the way he's been cooking here of late, Kyrie Irving, he's a go-getter. You seen what he's did lately? No. 60 points, 50 on 20 something, like right at 20 shots. Uh, I don't think anybody's getting buckets the way he's getting them right now, as easy as he's making it look. Like, uh, he's a generational talent. He's one of the most special point guards, uh, combo guard, whatever you want to call him. I don't want to call him a point. I don't want to call him, like, he's just a guard. Uh, but he's a bucket. You're winning the game, definitely. Hey, okay. Who would you put in? That's what I want to know. Steph Curry. Why? Because I feel like you can shoot from anywhere at the court. So wherever you get him the ball, he's going to drain it. I got you. Thank you for breaking your eyes with me. And we'll be back with Bob Bay. On the season premiere of the The Icebreaker Show. Isaiah sits down with the one and only Bobby Bates, one of the co-founders of the Iverson Classic. Did you get your tickets? We sure did. You don't want to miss the next episode of the Icebreaker Show. You'll see high-level talent, future NBA stars, future WNBA players. You'll see celebrities. You'll see artists. You'll see uh, the most authentic setting basketball environment of its kind in the world right here right there in the city of Memphis I can't wait <laughs> what did you do man oh. <laughs>
Now you going to 30? You trying to, what are you trying to do to me, man? Hi, I'm Bobby Bates. You're watching the Icebreaker Show. And we're back with Bobby Bates. And this is the speed round where I'm going to be playing Can't Say Um and Finish the Word. I'm going to give you a topic and you have 30 seconds and you can't say um. Ready? What happens if I do? You lose. So you, you playing the game too, right? No. Nah, we're going to flip this. And you ain't just going to be able to get me. I'm going to get you too. Name 10 super players. Now. Michael Jordan. LeBron James. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Allen Iverson, Kevin Durant, John Morant, Steph Curry, Dame Lillard. How many did it? That was awesome. Next topic is free throws. You just have to elaborate on it. Ready? Go. So you're going to stand at the free throw line, bounce the ball, make sure you're lined up properly. Make sure the ball feels right. Pay attention to him. Swish every time, right? Now it's time to finish the word. You ready? I'm ready. Box. Out. Air. Jordan. Basket. Ball. Fourth. Quarter. Yeah. Free. Throw. Jump. Shot. Time. Out. Over. Time. Foul. Out. Alley. Ooh. Back. Boar. Double. Dribble. Ice. You said ice? Yeah, ice. Was ice? Break a show. Well, thank you for being on my show. You're welcome. And I'm my zip, and you're on thin ice. But now I get to make you say, um, before I get off here, uh, okay. explain to me why you started your show. Okay. So before quarantine hit, a little bit before it, when I was in fourth grade, I was kind of bored and I really liked talking, but I didn't know like how they don't like any conversation with anyone. They, like talk to people like big, you know? And so I thought of interviewing. And then my mom, she said we could make a name and we can make an intro and we'll do an interview. I said, okay, well I made a beat and we got someone to do a song and we got a name, Icebreaker Show. Because my dad, he calls me Iceman. So we thought of Icebreaker. And after that, it just clicked. Basically, I, it. Dig it. I like it. That's a good job. Block my shot, right? Oh, dang. Oh, shoot, shoot, let me do it. <laughs> you gonna do me like that?